Hey everyone, we're back with another lens case. This time we're going to look at a cool effect that you can use to add animated interactive liquid to your 3D models. This video will first look at how it works, and then we'll go into how to use it in your projects. Let's dive in. The main thing to understand with this is that it's really just a rendering trick. We aren't actually simulating fluid dynamics at all. That's why we're calling it fake liquid. So let's take a look at how this works. The process can be broken down into three steps. Using the same mesh as the container, we chop the top off where the liquid surface is. In the chopped off part, we raycast new positions and normals. This lets us draw a surface where the hole was. Then we can add refraction, bubbles, and foam to complete the effect. Okay, so how do we know where to chop the top off without doing any fancy fluid dynamics? That's a great question. Imagine a car antenna. There's a base point that's attached to the car and a tip that bounces around from the motion of the car. If we think of the endpoint of the antenna as a plane that's perpendicular to the direction of the antenna, then we have the basis for our fluid surface. Let's see how to set up and configure the fake liquid for our project. In this example, we'll make a bottle with a magical cocktail inside and attach it to the hand tracking component. So we've got our bottle mesh imported into the project and the liquid controller script set up on the scene object. Let's drop our mesh onto it. Refresh the lens and we've got a fake liquid. Let's tweak the liquid material bit to make it a little more magical. First, let's change the colors up a bit. We can add a gradient going from the top to the bottom. Purple looks cool. Adjusting blend point will affect where the top and bottom colors mix. We can also change how full the container is with this liquid height object. You can also set the liquid's height directly on the controller script. Now let's add some bubbles and foam. On the liquid material, turning up the color or normal's intensity for the bubbles makes them appear when the container is shaken. We can also change the color, size, and speed of the bubbles here. We can also add foam from this material. Like the bubbles, foam appears on the top when the fluid moves around. On the controller script, we can change various properties of the underlying spring simulation. We can make the fluid more slow and viscous, or more energetic and sensitive to adjustments. Let's talk about the glass for a second. The glass is a separate material that we actually render twice, once for the back part, then again for the front part. This gives us a more realistic look. We took our refraction setup with chromatic aberration from the material library and applied it here. Adding refraction distorts the background and gives the glass the feeling of thickness. Another way to add thickness is back on the liquid material. This will push the edge of the liquid away from the wall of the container a little. One note about your containers and bottles. These meshes should be a single, smooth, continuous surface. Don't include any interior geometry. The cleaner, the better. Okay, so let's finally add some texture maps to the glass to make it look more realistic. Add the cork. And attach it to the hand tracking. Thank you. 
Nice, it's looking cool. Since the fake liquid runs pretty fast, we can get creative with how we use it. In this project, we've made three different liquid setups, one for each glasses lens and one for the frame. Since the liquid responds to whatever transform it's attached to, simply adding it to a head binding will make the liquid splash around from your head movements. Fake liquid was made entirely in script and material editor, so you are free to look inside the shaders and see exactly how it works and modify it however you want. Fake Liquid is a powerful and easy way to add some interesting fluid effects to your lenses.